Here we're going to look at linkage maps in relation to genes located on the same chromosome. Let's go through an example here. So first off, this should make basic sense. We're looking at a linkage map. It estimates the distance between genes. More closely linked genes will be closer together, and less closely linked genes will be further apart. So we're looking at a linkage map to try to determine the location of certain genes in relation to one another and how close or how far they may be. So as an example, how can linkage maps be made from observations of traits? Well, are recombination frequencies. The, these are just uh, gene terms given gene X, gene Y, and gene Z. Gene X and gene Y recombinate about 8% of the time, meaning they're about 8 units away from one another. X and Z, though, are 12%. So here's our X. We're wondering at 12% whether the Z is 12 units away to the left or from X, 12 units away to the right. So this is a kind of a quandary here. We're looking at, we know it's 12% um, recombinant frequency, so it's 12 uh, base pairs away, or 12 units away, I should say. So we're not sure though if it's gonna go basically 12 units this way or 12 units the other way. So we need some more information. Knowing that Y and Z are 4%, so Z is four units away from Y, we then can make the conclusion that Z is over in this way. So see initially here, without this information, we know here where X is, we know Z is 12 units away, but we don't know if it's to the left or right though. But by getting that information that it is also four units away from Y, 8 plus 4 is 12, and there's our x, there's our y, and that's where our z would be located. With this information, we're able to eliminate the possibility that z is located over here. Let's look at another example. So, uh, crossover frequencies can be converted into, again, these map units that we're looking at. So take, for example, a 5% crossover frequency equals 5 map units. Seems easy enough. Gene A and gene B cross over 6% of the time. So how many map units would that be? Six map units. Gene B and gene C cross over 12.5% of the time. We can convert that to 12.5 map units. Gene A and gene C, so taking information from here and here, cross over 18.5% of the time. So again, this being six map units away, this being 12.5 map units away, 6 plus 12 and a half would give us the 18 and a half, indicating A to B, and then C is located over here. You can see, because this follows everything here. A and B, 6 units away, yep. B and C are 12 units away, indicating that A to C is 18 and a half. That makes it simply go A, B, C. It won't, be, it won't always be the case, but hopefully you can kind of follow and understand how we got to the order and the distance between these two. See, once you get the hang of it, it's actually it's pretty easy to go over. So let's check here. Based on the above linkage map, one located here, what's the frequency of gene A and gene B crossing over together, or gene D and gene, and gene C? Could also draw a linkage map based on the following crossover percentages for the three gene pairs. A, if A and B is 8%, B and C is 10%, A and C is 2%, what would that physically look like? So I can get the first one here, based on the above linkage map, or if you go here, you can pause it, and I'm going to give you the answers. So for the first one here, based on the above linkage map, this case would be the below linkage map, what are the frequencies of A and B crossing over? Well, here's A, here's B, 40% minus 25% would give you the distance here, that would be 15%, and then D to C. So here's D and C. We want to figure out what this distance is. We take A and D, and we subtract A to C. 25% minus 30%, this distance is 5%. Please realize that this map may not be drawn to scale, but by simply calculating these figures out, you can tell this distance based on the map is 5%. And the distance between B and A, or A and B here, would be 15%. The other part of that question, draw a linkage map based on the flag crossover percentages. If A and B is 8% and B and C is 10% and A and C is 2%, we want to know what order these are in. So I start with just drawing simple two ends. 
I connect them together and I start to label and you go with the first information you've got here and A to B would be 8% so that's the longer distance here B to C would be 10% so B and C is 10% A and C is 2% we know that that C is located here not over here because 8 plus 2 would give us that 10% the distance between B and C so I know initially this might sound a little confusing and it does take a little guess in check there's no set quick easy way to determine that but if you look at the numbers and put one down one place and start with a known we know a and b is eight units away all right now we got to go to the next one b and c's 10 units we don't know if that's to the left or the right but with a and c only being two units away eight plus two is ten and that perfectly solves our linkage map hopefully if you review these a little bit they'll start to make a little bit more sense initially i know it is a little bit foreign to look at but hopefully reviewing it a couple times will make it quick and easy and it makes for a great quiz question.